All right, BFIT Nation, welcome back to another wonderful Motivation Monday. Welcome to our BFIT Live programmed workouts. You can accomplish these workouts at home or on site, on location, anywhere that you have any space that you are able to uh, take advantage of. So welcome back uh, this week or this workout, actually. We have a cardio and resistance Base workout, a hybrid of both. So you'll see a few different movements targeted uh, to elevate your heart rate for cardio-based workout and some resistance-based workout uh, movements to really target uh, certain muscle groups that we will be um, targeting today. So welcome. Let's get settled in here. Grab water. Uh, if you have any resistance, such as dumbbells, any um, items with a handle, go ahead and grab those now. Uh, we will not need a mat, uh, but if you have one, uh, we will be down on the deck in a high plank position, uh, you know, speaking ahead here. But uh, if you have a mat, if you have uh, dumbbells, go ahead and grab those, grab your water, grab your towel, and let's get settled in. I'm Roy, your BFIT ambassador here, and I have my partner in crime, my teammate, Senior Master Sergeant Sonia Berry. How are you doing today, ma'am? Hey, good morning, Murray. I'm good. Sun's out. Bring the guns out, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am, absolutely. And after last week here, we could really take advantage and use the sun. Um, so, uh, you know, speaking on last week, I know uh, it built a, a lot of re resistance and a lot of um, um, resistance for us. So uh, it, it's all about um, keeping and building that resiliency. And with that, uh, that's what these programmed workouts are targeted to do. Just build your resilience, uh, you know, your resiliency throughout each of these workouts to push yourself just a little farther and a little harder each and every time. So with that, all we ask is that you have some fun for today and give us your max effort that you have available. So if you're new to BFIT Live, this is a at home or any place type of workout. In just under 30 minutes, we will target four rounds at four exercises, 20 seconds on and uh, 40 seconds on, excuse me, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, four rounds and four exercises inside of those rounds and one minute rest in between each of those rounds. Once again, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, four rounds and one minute rest in between each round is gonna be our timing for today. So I will go through a demo each of these movements, listen to a few different cues that uh, you can pick up and, and really incorporate into these movements. And then we will go into some dynamic stretching and then straight into our workout. So with that, uh, again, a hybrid workout for today. So four exercises on deck. We have our first exercise, which is a plyo lunge and an ice skater combo. So we are gonna be completing 10 ice skaters and then four plyo lunges. So your ice skaters, you're gonna start off to the left or the right of your space. You want to laterally bound over to the left or right, right, absorbing that weight as you shift your momentum from left to right. We are gonna do 10 of these, right? And then after that, we will jump down into four plyo lunges here, okay? So grabbing a little bit of air, if we need to scale back, go ahead and just go into a reverse lunge, making sure that knee, right, is tracking over our toe as we go into that uh, plyo lunge, keeping that chest up, that head looking straight ahead. All right, and once again, so that's 10 ice skaters and then four plyo lunges, two, three, four, and then you're back into the 10 for 40 seconds, all right? Second exercise is going to be <clears throat> an isolation movement here. So we're gonna do 20 seconds worth of tricep extensions and then 20 seconds worth of a bicep curl. So with the tricep extension, um, <clears throat> if you have a dumbbell, you're gonna go ahead and grab those two dumbbells or a single dumbbell if you want to alternate 10 seconds on each side. If you have two, let's go ahead and do 20 seconds worth of a tricep extension first for the first 20 seconds. If you do not have any resistance, go ahead and make a nice strong fist and we're gonna exaggerate the top portion of that movement here. So we're gonna take a nice strong stance here, feet, are going to be shoulder width apart, right? Soft bend at the knees. You never want to lock out your knees here. So a soft bend at those knees. We want to hinge at the hips just a little bit, 45 degrees here. 
take your resistance or your strong fists here, and you're going to extend with those elbows tucked in close to your torso here, extending those arms straight back, right? Keeping that back flat and that head in that neutral position. So try not to look up, try not to look down. You want that spine in alignment to prevent injury. So elbows are tucked in and you're just going to pivot from your elbow here. Just hinge from your elbow and you'll feel that isolation in your triceps, so the back of your arm. 20 seconds worth of that movement. And then we are gonna go directly into a bicep curl. So again, nice strong stance. Feet shoulder width apart, soft bend at those knees, try not to lock them out. Okay, engage those glutes to protect that lower back. And you're going to alternate or together, depending on how much weight you are carrying here, um, <clears throat> bicep curls here, okay? So 20 seconds worth of a bicep curl. Palms are gonna be facing out, so out towards the screen. And you are going to raise that dumbbell up to your shoulder, but you only want to hinge at that elbow. Once again, hinging at that elbow, right? Keeping that elbow nice and tucked in close to your torso, close to your torso, all right? So that's gonna be 20 seconds worth of a tricep extension and then 20 seconds of a bicep curl. The third exercise <clears throat> is going to be a dumbbell snatch alternating. So we're gonna grab that dumbbell of choice Think of it in two parts here, all right? We are going down into a low squat position. So feet are going to be a little wider than shoulder width apart, right? A little, almost like a sumo squat like we did uh, a few weeks ago, all right? We're gonna drop down into that low squat position. If you have that dumbbell uh, in your hand here, palm is gonna be facing you. Dumbbell into that low squat position. Once you raise up, you're gonna raise that dumbbell up into an overhead press. So. It's going to look like this, two parts here, low squat into a raise, and then that pull to an overhead extension, okay? That's gonna be alternating left arm and right arm. So if you have a dumbbell, it's going to look like this here, okay? Making sure that we tuck down, bringing those hips back. So hinging at the hips, pushing those hips back. Once we go down into that low squat, keeping that chest up and that head looking straight ahead here, okay? into that high overhead pull. <clears throat> so again, we are attacking, attacking and targeting that lower body with that low squat, pulling up with that shoulder and that overhead press. Okay, keeping that core nice and tight. So a little bit of lower body work, a lot of lower body work and a little bit of upper body work here with each arm targeting that shoulder, that high rotation pull and that overhead press. That's going to be shoulder activation right there. Okay, alternating dumbbell snatch for exercise number three. And then exercise number four, you're gonna head down to the ground here. Let me bring this down into <clears throat> five double feet mountain climbers and two shoulder taps, okay? So we've done mountain climbers before. We're gonna use that high plank position, but instead of single leg uh, movements here, we're gonna bring both legs up in that high plank position. So we wanna make sure that our hands are tracking underneath our shoulders. So our our palm underneath our shoulder for the most support of our weight into that high plank position, keeping that core tight, right? That back flat, that head in that neutral position, making sure that we're in alignment here from our neck all the way down to our heels. Once we are in that position, we are going to bring both feet up into a knee tuck, right? So a knee tuck here, five of these. And once we get done with those five, we are gonna go into two shoulder taps. So bringing those feet out just a little bit wider. So shoulder width apart on those feet stance. And our right hand is gonna to touch our left shoulder. Left hand is gonna to touch our right shoulder. Now, if we need to scale that down, let's go ahead and drop to our knees here. Keeping with that core engagement, right hand once again touches our left shoulder and left hand touches our right shoulder. So, and again, if we need to scale down that double knee tuck, Let's go ahead and do one leg at a time. Or if you feel more comfortable just holding that high plank position for that 40 seconds, we're right here with you as well, okay? So any variations of these we can modify, we can scale up, we can scale down. So it just depends on your fitness journey, your fitness level and where we can meet you with. But again, these movements should be a little challenging but not too challenging enough to cause any injury. So that's the most important part here is uh, prevention of injury 
and yet challenging for you as well. So we can modify these. Uh, there's always a modification for either one and I'll call these out during each round, each exercise. So with that, catching my breath here, I'm going to grab some water. We are going to uh, go ahead and go into some dynamic stretching and then we'll move into our workout. How's everybody doing? How was your week last week? How's your start of this week? Where are you watching from? Let us know. I know Sergeant Barry and I would love to see the comments posted down below. <laughs> so please do that for us. <clears throat> All right, team. who's ready to work today? <laughs> ready. Yes, ma'am. All right, team. Okay, so dynamic stretching here. Let's start off with a dynamic quad stretch. Again, the, the idea behind dynamic stretching, we're going to stretch multiple muscle groups at one time to get our minds and our bodies prepared and ready to work. If we've had a long weekend, if we've been sitting for a long period of time, this is a great time to really dial in where your body is sitting today, where you're feeling a little bit tight, where you can loosen up, usually in the hips or in the glutes, in the quads, in the, in the hamstrings, in your shoulders, things like that. So a lot of these movements are gonna be uh, incorporating a lot of different muscle groups. So this is a great time to kind of focus on anywhere your body might be tight. So dynamic quad stretch here, I'm going to take my right leg, I'm going to extend it back to feel that stretch in my quad and in my hip flexor, <clears throat> raising that opposite arm up to stretch out a little bit of my mid to upper back and shoulder and right back down. And we're going to alternate left leg, right hand. Again, take your time with this as uh, many reps as you would like. We're gonna do each of these movements for about 30 seconds, and then we'll move on to the next here. So really look to dial in where you might be tight, where you may need to focus on a little bit more, holding that stretch, pushing those hips forward for those hip flexors, extending that arm mount just a little bit longer, a little bit wider, a little bit higher. <laughs> there we go. All right, one more here, just for good measure. All right, team, let's take that nice wide stance here. We are going to do some lateral lunges here. I'm sorry, some <laughs> lateral lunges here. We're just going to shift our weight over to our right and our left. Our feet are not going to move. They should be pointed straight ahead. And you should feel this stretch in the inner part of your thigh. All right. Maybe give yourself a little bit of a bounce. Nice, slow movements here. Good. Good job, keep that chest up. A few more here. Three, two, one. All right, team, top of the mat here, reverse lunge with a reach at the top of your space. You're going to take that reverse lunge dropping that knee down, dropping those hips down, arms or hands are coming together and reaching over to the side in which your lead leg is up on. All right, extend up back to the top of your mat, alternate left leg back, reaching over. You should feel that reach to stretch out your lats, your shoulders here with that upper reach. Also incorporating your glutes your quads, your hamstrings with that reverse lunge, those hip flexors starting to warm up. Do what you can here. One more here after this. Good, good, good. All right, let's go to the back of our area now. We're gonna go into those inchworms here. So the back of our workout space, <clears throat> feet are gonna be shoulder width apart. You're gonna reach, slide down and reach towards our toes. You should feel that stretch in your hamstring. Once you get there, you want to walk out into that high plank position that will be for being in exercise three. Pause for a second, retract back, touch those toes, follow yourself all the way up to standing position and then right back down. We'll do about four of these here. Back down into that high plank position, pause here. Engaging that core, feeling that hamstring stretch, stretch as you retract back up and feel that spine 
just retract back and roll up, pausing at the bottom. Three for me here. Ah, one more here. <clears throat> Don't forget to breathe here. Pausing at the bottom. And one more. <sighs> ah, good work, team. Good work, good work. Okay, a little bit more uh, hips here because we do have some lower body movement. So let's go to hip circles here. Right leg back and right leg forward, left leg back and left leg forward. Any combination that is comfortable for you here. Let's go ahead and loosen up those hips. Again, if we're seated for a long period of time, these hip dynamic stretches can really start to loosen up your, your glutes, your lower back, your quad, your hamstrings, hip flexors that may be tight. So just a few more here. Let's see, three, two, one, and to finish it off, we'll just go into some arm circles forward first. Nice medium circles to get our shoulders warmed up. Nice strong stance here at your pace. You can start small, go wide, go larger, go larger. Good, now let's take it small again and reverse opposite direction here. A little larger. Really open up those shoulders here, nice and slow and good. All right, team, we are warm, we are good, we are set up for success here. So let's go ahead and move into our workouts. I'll get my timer started and ready. Grab your towel, grab some water, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Let's start off on the right foot here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right, timer starting. Let's come down here. Eight, nine, eight, nine. Once again, let us know where you're watching from. Let us know where you're tuning in from. <clears throat> Are you indoors or outdoors today? It's a nice day today to be outdoors for us. All right, 10 seconds, y'all. 10 ice skaters and four, four plyometric lunges coming up in seven seconds. Up in five here, 10 ice skaters and two more pile lunges. In three, two, one, 40 seconds on the clock here. Let's work. 10 ice skaters here. Take your time with these. Seven. And after that, four plyometric lunges. All right, now we're back into those 10 ice skaters feel these lateral bounds you should feel in the outside of your glutes outside of your leg here your adductors five more seconds here three two one <laughs> good work team 40 seconds of work over with we have 20 seconds of rest here less than that and we are jumping into that isolation of a bicep and tricep extension so grab those dumbbells if you can. We are up in three, two, one. Here we go, team. Feet are shoulder width apart here, hinging at the hips, pushing those hips back. Elbows are tucked in, extending out. Weight is going to be up. Again, keeping that elbow tucked in, close to your body here. Five more seconds of work. Three, two, one. One, now switching over into a nice strong stance with that bicep curl. Palms are gonna be facing out. Once again, we're just hinging at the elbow, keeping that core tight, keeping that chest up. Last five seconds here. Three, two, one, and time. All right, team, 20 seconds of rest here. And we are into that alternating dumbbell snatch. Remember, nice wide stance here. We're gonna drop down into that low squat. One motion up into an overhead pull. Here we go, team. Two, one, let's work here. Again, dropping those hips down, raising that weight up. Go ahead and alternate. 
Your opposite arm should counterbalance your weight here. Good job. Looking good, Sergeant Barry, looking strong. Thank you. Good work. Awesome work, awesome work. Last six seconds. Last three, two, one, and time. Good job, Sergeant Barry. <clears throat> All right, team, we are on the floor here for those five mountain climbers and then those two shoulder taps here. Up in three, two, one, take that high plank position here. Hands are underneath our shoulders. Knee tuck in and extending back out into those five double foot mountain climbers. <clears throat> take your time with this. Once you get into those five mountain climbers, you have two shoulder taps, keeping that core nice and tight, nice and engaged here. Thinking about bringing that navel back down to your, or into your spine. Last 10 seconds. Last five. Three, two, one, <laughs> and time. <laughs> Team B Fit Nation, how are we doing? How are we feeling? All right, team, now is a great time to hydrate. Remember, we have less than one minute of rest <clears throat> before the next round starts. If you're, if you're new, if you're just joining us, welcome to BFIT Live. This is our programmed workout. Today we have a hybrid training session for you. So we have cardio-based movements as well as strength-based movements to target your full body. Just under 20, uh, just under 30 minutes of work here. Less than that now. Go ahead and get ready for those 10 ice skaters and four plyo lunges coming up less than 10 seconds here. All right, team, here you go. Three, two, one. Ice skaters on deck, 10 ice skaters. And four plyometric lunges. All right, this is our cardio based movement for this round. Using those arms to carry you as you laterally bound from left to right. One. Last three, two, one, and time. Good job. Sergeant Barry, you're showing everyone out there that if you have a limited space, you're able to accomplish all of these movements here. All right, team, tricep extensions coming up in two, one. Here we go, hinging at the hips, dropping those elbows down and close to your torso here, giving that back flat, that head and alignment there, hinging only at the elbows, squeezing at the top. Activating those triceps. Okay, two, one, and bicep curls now. Good job. There you go. Nice and controlled movements with these resistance-based movements. Nice and controlled for the last three, two, one, and time. <laughs> All right. We are getting ready for summer. Mm -hmm. Okay, alternating dumbbell snatches coming up in five, three, two, one. Nice strong stance here, dumbbell in hand. If not, make a strong fist. We're gonna alternate into that low squat, knees tracking over your toes, keeping that chest up, keeping that head up. Bringing that dumbbell up in one motion here from the center of your body all the way to an overhead press, alternating left arm and right arm. Again, if you do not have any weight, 
Let's go ahead and make nice strong fists here, squatting first, and then move into an overhead press for the last five. Three, two, one, and time. Good work, team. Good work. Catch your breath here. Nice deep breaths. We are on the floor here on deck for those five double mountain climbers and those two shoulder taps coming up in three, two, one. High plank position here. Five and two is the sequence. Four, five. Nice strong stance. Remember the wider your foot base is, the more stability you'll have in that high plank position. Hands are gonna be tracking underneath our shoulders. Take your time with this last 12 seconds. If we need to hold a high plank position, let's hold it team. Nice and strong. Five seconds left. Two, one, and time. Good job team, good job. Good work, Sergeant Barry. It looks like you have company. Yeah, I had to uh, modify a little bit, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> no downward dog today. <laughs> we'll take the cat. She is so playful. <laughs> All right, team. 20 seconds of rest, and then we'll move into our third round here. Our third round. It is flying by. So let us know where you're watching from. Again, let us know if you're indoors or outdoors. Let us know what movements you like the most. If there are any modifications that you are requesting, let us know. Drop us something in the comments here. All right, team. Three, two, one. Ten ice skaters and four plyometric lunges. There you go. Your lateral balance should be as comfortable in length as they can be for you. If they're not as wide as Sergeant Barry Rise, that's okay. We'll build on that. Last 10 seconds here. Good job, team. Doing good. Out in five, three, two, one, and time. 20 seconds of rest here. Triceps and biceps are on deck here. 10 seconds, grab that resistance here. Scale up if you need to, scale down if you need to. If you have the option, make those nice tight fists here. Two, one, hinging at the hips here. Elbows are tucked in, extending those hands and that resistance out, keeping that core tight. Feet, foot placement should be shoulder width apart here only hinging at the elbow. Two, one, let's alternate team. From that bicep, from that tricep extension to the bicep curl. Keeping those elbows tucked in close to your torso here. All the way up, extending all the way down. Breathe in on the way down, breathe out on the way up. Two, one, and time. Good job team, good job. Isolating those arms for us today. All right, that dumbbell snatch. It's coming up in three, two. Nice strong stance here. Let's work, team. 40 seconds on the clock. Remember to use that arm, that opposite arm. For momentum here for counterbalance. Swing it out nice and wide here. Good. 22 seconds here. The profile shot, 20 seconds left. Nice and controlled. No need to rush these movements into that low squat position. Pulling that resistance up to your chest, to your shoulder, and then overhead. Nice one, safe movement here in two, one, and time. Good work team, 40 seconds of work there. 
All right, team, 10 seconds left here and we are on deck for those mountain climbers and shoulder taps. Here we go, team, grab that water real quick. We're up in three, two, one. All right, team, let's work in that high plank position, bringing those knees up to our chest, giving that back flat, that head tracking. Those hands underneath our shoulders. We need to hold up into that high plank position. Let's go ahead and do that team. Last 15 seconds of work here. Last 10 seconds. Keep it going team, nice and strong. You got it. Out in three, two, one, and time. <sighs> Woo. All right, that round's burning. Heart rate is elevated. Good job, Sergeant Barry, good job. I'll take a cue from you. Time to hydrate. 30 seconds of rest here. Let's hydrate. Towel off. Good work, team, good work. Once again, I love to see all the positive comments that everybody makes here, supporting each other, encouraging each other. We're one community, getting better as a team, week by week, day by day. All right. And with those challenging movements, 10 ice skaters and four plyometric lunges are coming up in five seconds here. Three, two, one. Here's the start of our last round. Good job. Good job, Sergeant Barry. Yes, ma'am. Good job, team. Good job, Deep Fit Nation. Keep it up. Almost there, halfway there. Good job. Out in five. Finish off those plyo lunges. Two. One time. There you go. We won't see those again today. <laughs> All right, 10 seconds here. Let's go into that bicep and tricep extension. Grab those resistance, make those fists, hinging at the hips, elbows are tucked in. Two, one. Let's work, team. 20 seconds of work here for those tricep extensions. Nice isolation movement here for both of these arm movements. Last three seconds, two, one. Let's go ahead and alternate into that bicep curl. Nice strong stance here. Soft bend at the knee. Bringing those elbows, I'm sorry, bringing those dumbbells up to our shoulder. Elbows are tucked in for the last five seconds. Three, two, one. And time. Good work, team. Good work. Halfway there. Halfway there. Good job, team. Breaking a sweat over here. Three seconds. Here we go. Alternating dumbbell snatch in three, two, one. Here we go, team. Dropping down into that low squat position. Chest is up. Bring that dumbbell up in one controlled movement here. Good job, team. Almost there. 20 seconds left on the clock. Don't forget to breathe here. Deep breath in on the way down. Deep breath out on the way up. Last five seconds here. Out in three, two, one, and time. Good work, team. You won't see that one again. Ooh. Moving my dumbbell off to the side here. Grab that water, team. Let's finish out strong. We are on deck. We are on the floor here for that last set. High plank position in three, two, one. Here we go, team. Knee tucks, 
five, five mountain climbers. And then it's nice strong stance for those two controlled shoulder taps. And then back into those five double foot mountain climbers. Nice work team, almost there. Last set, best set. Let's make it happen. Less than 10 seconds here. Pick up the tempo. Out in five, four, three, two, one. It burns in. Good work, team. It's good work. Good job. Good job, team. Hydrate, towel off. Pat yourself on the back here because this was an easy, this was not an easy workout. As I catch my breath here. Mm. Ah. Ah. Fit Nation, how are we doing? How are we feeling? Stronger than when we started? Yes, we are. We committed. We gave it our effort here. Good work today. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, Defense Nation. Sergeant Barry, how are you doing, ma'am? How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm doing good, Roy. I'm not gonna lie, but like the start of the workout, it was like one of those days you're like, ah, I don't feel like working out, but it's one of those like you appreciate even more when you're done. So it's a great workout. Absolutely. I always, uh, I always say the hardest part is showing up. I know we've heard that. I'm sure we've heard that before. We've heard that over and over again, but it's absolutely true. Sometimes the hardest part is showing up. Your, uh, your mind and heart may be in the right place, but sometimes you're just missing a little extra push. And so that's what we're here for. That's what Sergeant Barry and I are here for. We are committed. We are here to push ourselves, to show up, to keep each other accountable which is most importantly, which is, which is what it's all about, keeping each other accountable, having some fun along the way and pushing ourselves. As long as we're moving our bodies here, that's the most important part safely and to your comfort level. I know some of these movements may be a little bit controlled and a little bit um, isolated and, and uh, movements like these may be a little foreign, but that's what we're here for. We're here to navigate you. We're here to push you. We're here to support you every step of the way, every rep of the way. So Sergeant Barry and I are both here for you all. And um, again, some of these movements, uh, sometimes it's, it's tough to get up and, and get moving. But again, I applaud you. I commend you. Well done, BFIT Nation. Great job. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Great job for showing up today. Mondays are sometimes a little tougher to get started, but a uh, great way to kick off our week here. Again, we are here every Monday for you every Monday, unless a holiday falls on a Monday, then we push it till Wednesday, but every Monday here at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. So again, if, if you were just new to our BFIT programming here, we had four exercises that we went through. We had 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. That's the type of timing interval that we went through. Now, if you're looking to scale up for additional workout, additional time, you can do two more rounds, three more rounds, another set of four to make it eight rounds in total. And that'll just double the amount of time uh, that you have and are able to work out if time permitting and um, space permitting. So all of our previous workouts from Sergeant Barry and I and our BFIT lives can be found at our Facebook, our exchange Facebook page. There's our exchange Facebook playlist rather, our BFIT playlist. So we catalog them all. So you can find a lot of extended workouts right there. And I'll be, uh, I'll be the first one to say that all workouts have been different. Every workout has been different. There has been no repetition, no repeats of workouts that we've targeted and accomplished so far. There have been some movements that we like to incorporate in um, you know, pre previous workouts, but every workout has been different so far. So you will not find the same workout. So again, a full body workout targeted uh, for, for you. And uh, if Facebook is in your thing, we also have shopmyexchange.com over on our YouTube playlist. You'll find a BFIT playlist over there on YouTube, shopmyexchange.com or shopmyexchange. <laughs> so with that, good work today, team. Great way to start off your Monday. Any last words, Sergeant Barry, from your end? No, just have a great week, everybody. Thanks for being here. Absolutely. Myself, uh, Roy Montes, 
and BFIT Nation, great to see you again. Uh, I hope you enjoyed yourselves. Signing off here, have a great weekend, a great week. <laughs>